What up people, this is Ricky J. Welcome to another video and today this video is dedicated to youngest new world nerd who wanted me to do, well sorry about that, he wanted me to do Nate Diaz versus Johnny Bones Jones. So we're setting this to open weight. We are setting the fight to legendary status. Look at Nate Diaz. And um, this is going to be crazy because you guys know Nate Diaz is a lightweight, welterweight, going up against Johnny Bones Jones, who's the light heavyweight champ and could possibly be a heavyweight in no time, man. If he wanted to, he could. So here we go. This matchup's going to be crazy. And if you're wondering about my strategy, um, what would Nate say about his strategy? You guys know that I do a nice impersonation. Let's auto autofill right here. You guys know I do an impersonation about Nate Diaz. What would Nate say about the strategy? Yo, what's up, man? This is Nate Diaz, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna throw down, you know, just how I do, just like I did in the backyard growing up in Stockton with my brother Nick, the greatest fighter of all time. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do in this fight is uh, I'm gonna let him take me down. You know, let's go to the left here. Yeah, man, I'm gonna just uh, let him take me down, you know. If he's gonna be a weasel and something, I'm gonna show him some crazy jujitsu, you know what I'm saying? Gilbert Melendez, Jake Shields, shout outs to them. And I'm going to do what I got to do. Yeah, man, that's what I got to do. If John Jones takes me down, sorry, just hit my mic. If he takes me down, I'm going to invite the takedown. And um, I have some pretty good takedown defense, and I'm not going to do it. But naturally, I may try to stuff the takedown, but I don't want to stuff the takedown. I want him to take me down, and I want to utilize, you know, Nate's fantastic guard, man. He's got a great guard, and... Um, yeah, that's his forte. What a complete fighter he is. The only thing is he's not really a good kicker, you know, and um, he doesn't really have the best, um, you know, health when it comes to his leg health. <laughs> he got chopped down before. But um, Nate is as durable as he comes, man, as they come. A lot of people were saying that doesn't Nate have the best chin in this game? You know, you would think that would be the case, but statistically it was Anthony Rumble Johnson. But he does have a fantastic chin. I think his chin... Nate's chin is a 95 out of 100, but Rumble Johnson's was a 97. So here we go. This is old school styles. Six feet, six foot four, 155 versus 205. And look at that reach, 84 to 76. And a 76 inch reach is, is a great reach. And you guys know that Nate is length, has um, some length to him, man. Kind of sometimes it's like a wet noodle. Let's, <laughs> I'm gonna try taunting it. And remember, this is one and done. <laughs> Whatever happens here happens. I can't get well. I can't get too close to him while I'm doing all that nonsense. I don't want to get shut off with one shot. We gotta be utilizing the ones twos, man. The ones and twos of Nate's. A lot of ones too. Throwing that jab out there. And the one thing I got to be careful with is this fight. Uh oh, yeah. I don't care. Like I said, I want him to take me down. This fight may go to a decision, so I don't want to lose by a decision. Nate's prone to... If he's going to lose a fight, it's by a decision or a cut. <laughs> oh, he wants nothing of my guard. Come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's inviting... He's jumping right back in. Oh, my gosh. I'm mistiming the arm trap. Oh, po boys. And if this ends in the first round, I may do a second chance, but no, nah, let's be some confidence here. Let's be confident. Come on, come down. You scared of my guard? I thought you were the greatest of all time. Oh, he's getting into stack. And this is where we could <laughs> chip away, just <laughs> hit him with shots. Not really hurting him, but just trying to get him uncomfortable. And this reminds me of, remember Hoist Gracie versus Chemo? From back in the day, you old school guys, you guys remember that? Hoist Gracie grabbed Chemo Leopoldo's hair and started throwing punches while he was on the bottom in stack. You know, while he was being stacked, he grabbed Chemo's hair and was throwing shots at him, just like this. <laughs> and um, the strategy was stopped because Hoist pulled Chemo's ponytail right off and couldn't get any leverage to throw shots, but he was throwing some good shots by grabbing that ponytail and hitting him from the bottom. And if you look in the top right, Big Daddy, 
Look at that stamina of Jones. Slowly going down. And this is a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm not trying to finish this fight in the first round. And with everything going on in the world, <laughs> you don't have any sports to watch anyway. So what's the point in rushing? Just got to take my time. And for the record, hope everybody's safe, staying home, relaxing, not getting anxious about anything. Uh-oh. Kind of mistiming my arm trap. But this is what we need to do. Slow Jonesy down. And Jonesy is going to want to do this. He better rethink of strategy. And that was a good round for us, man. It was a good round. And this is a nice uh, shakeup because I did a couple of boxing videos. So now this is where I feel a little bit more comfortable with respect to the game. Kind of know this game obviously a lot better than Fight Night. But those boxing videos oh, are so much fun. Can't wait to do more. Keep your ideas coming. And we gotta respect. And I like how Jones is moving back. We gotta respect his power, obviously. I'm not gonna do anything silly. Oh. Just chip away, man. Just touch him. Not going for big bombs. Oh, nice. Lead uppercut, followed by a straight. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh oh, going for a ride. Oh, geez, that hurts. And Nate has some great submissions, too, man. I'll be utilizing his submissions. Off his back. He's so active, so deadly. And props to uh, Big Daddy Oliveira, man, for showcasing that on the weekend. See if we could soften him up a little bit. And again, the legendary AI is just so good at arm trapping. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really <laughs> trying to focus on his moves. Uh-oh. See that? See how he's so good at arm trapping? It's like you can't do any damage when you're postured up. He's just so good at predicting. He's kind of punching with the wrong hand though. I was late. <sighs> Can't make any mistakes. Again, this is good for us. This is gonna drain Jones. Drain that stamina even more. And we're just systematically, I'm willing to give up my position up here. Jones, <laughs> he knows. I was willing to just give it up. Finally hit him with a shot, posturing up. But see, look how active the computer is. Not just sitting there waiting for the ref to break us up. He tends to go for that neck though a lot. Oh man, look at this. He has no stamina though. <laughs> what the? It's almost like impossible to throw a shot. I'm almost to the point where now it's got to be careful on what I throw. Come on, what are you going to do? See, look at that. How is he so good at predicting where I'm going to throw my shots? Got to give it up for the computer, though. That's like the ultimate defense, you know off of his back. He didn't really take much damage at all. He did tax that stamina though, which I'm happy about, but holy cow. Just a legendary arm trapper. Jeez, and it's crazy how we're already in the third round. Oh, nice footwork. But if we play our cards right, man, Jones is going to fade as this fight goes on. <laughs> but it's not like boxing. It's not 12 rounds. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. I feel like I can open up a little bit more. Knowing that I have a 
pretty good stamina advantage. Jonesy's backing up though. Look at him. Gotta keep on hunting him down. Oh. Gotta be so careful though. Oh, slow dance. Oh. Goes for the whip. Look at him. He's gassed. Get some heat on that. Oh, nice. We're sitting pretty, though. I'm pretty happy with this situation right now. I'll be honest. I don't want to jinx it, though. Oh, my gosh. How did that even happen? I'm telling you, if you never experienced... Ah, uh, you can take me down. Oh, he gave up on it. If you never experienced the AI on Legendary. It's just never over. Think it's over. He always finds a way of making it close. Oh, man. Tried the push off and the kick. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. This is crucial time. <laughs> you can tell I'm locked in, man. Look at Jones. He's always oh, well, wall walking here. See that? Look at him. Gassed out. Still throwing big shots, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could take me down. You could take me down. It's going to drain out his stamina even more. Look at that stamina. Now the one the one thing though that I'm wondering about with all things going on in these rounds and talking and playing it's so hard to be a judge a virtual judge but who's winning this fight you know that was obviously our round but could Jones have had the first two rounds so we could be down on the scorecards who knows so we, we have to make sure that we get these next two rounds We don't want to lose by decision. <laughs> you know, Nate will be upset. Never get it right, man. <clears throat> These judges don't know. Oh, wow. He tried to axe kick me. Again, Jones is throwing all the right shots, man. You got to be so careful. <laughs> and I know some of you are like, Ricky, you can finish this, man. I know, but I want to be smart. Because whatever happens, if I lose this, I'm posting it. I don't want to totally embarrass myself. And I've had some, a couple of embarrassing performances. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that, that's, I think that's a two-stage submission. Oh, my gosh. R2 and down, if you're wondering. Oh, my gosh. Yo, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to try to employ a, a submission game too. And the submission game is going to slow down. Here we go. Holy cow. Oh, look at Nate. Oh. And apparently, if you do the... Uh, the triangle choke off of your back with Diaz. He does the, he flips the bird, the double bird. Do you guys know that? Remember when he fought Kurt Pellegrino? Oh yeah. What a reversal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to drain him out a little bit. Remember when he fought Kurt Pellegrino? He got him into a triangle choke. And then before Kurt could tap, I'm gonna stand up and, he uh, flipped the bird. Oh, my dog, I don't know if you hear my dog. Oh. <laughs> Stock that slap, but yeah, he flipped the bird and then he tapped him out right after off his back. If we have a chance, I'm gonna try doing it. And look at <laughs> Jonesy's back against the wall, man. And look.
Look at him go, eh? This is crazy. Nate's got some terrible kicks because I'm trying to rip up that body. And is not nothing's happening. Oh, here we go. Oh, what happened to my sh what happened to my right shoulder? That was nuts. Oh, he's taking me for a ride. Oh yeah, you can get it. Wow, I cannot believe we're already at the fifth round. Oh man, I'm just having way too much fun with these fantasy showdowns. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, good job, Jones. <laughs> oh no, what happened? Is that illegal kick? Is that illegal? He like destroyed my kneecap right there. Did you see that? Look at Jones sucking wind. <laughs> My dog, I don't know if you can hear him. He is not liking this, that this fight oh, is so deep into this fifth round. Oh, yeah. Look at <laughs> I'm telling you, Jones is still deadly. That's why I'm being so careful. And D oh yeah, yeah baby, come on get up. Diaz doesn't have the greatest power though. Oh yeah, take me down. I really want to get that triangle choke if I can. Here we go. Here's a chance. Oh man, those. You see how the green and the red came so fast? I don't want the green because then he's gonna switch it to an arm bar. I'm pretty sure he flips the bird, man. You know, the double middle finger action. Oh, it's so hard to submit this legendary AI. I'm not giving up. Not giving up. And again, I don't want to reverse him. So I deny that, it's going to reverse him. Here we go. Let's try again. Oh, man, it's so fast. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, it's crazy how the red didn't even come up that time. But look, we're taxing Jones's head, which is good. And Jonesy wants out, man. You know he wants out. Here we go. See how fast it goes? Oh, man, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on it. Look, Jones really wants out. He knows he's in danger here. With Nate actively going for submissions. Holy cow, it's really hard to do and we're running out of time. And again, here we go. Holy, it's so fast. Oh, there, there. <laughs> yeah! It's unbelievable, it's over. And he did it, I don't know if you saw. I don't know if you caught it, but I'm not pushing any buttons. I He flipped the bird, it's true. <laughs> That's crazy that they added that in the game. And only Nate has it, I don't know if Nick has it. I doubt he does, because Nate's the only guy that did it. But he flipped the bird before he tapped, look at this, look, see? Flex the muscles, flips the bird, that flex the muscles, and then taps Jones out for his first ever loss. Look at this. And <laughs> it's almost like he didn't flip the bird because he didn't want this in the game, but that's the that's the side. Yeah, he does the <laughs> That's crazy. That is awesome. I can't believe they have that in the game. Oh, what a fight. So we didn't leave it in the hands of the judges, and Nate gets the W. Let me know your thoughts on this video, and keep your ideas coming, man. I'm having way too much fun. Have a great day. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome. I'm out of here.